good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in this world, God bless you. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we're going to be in the book of Jeremiah in the Old Testament, in the King James Version of the Holy Bible. Now, we're in chapter 16 today, but I want to recall to your memory, yesterday in chapter 15, Manasseh, the most evil king in all of Israel, who led the people away so far from God. And here, now this is what God is going to say to them. This is their reward, if you want to call it that. The word of the Lord came also unto me, saying, Thou shalt not take thee a wife, neither shalt thou have sons or daughters in this place. For thus saith the Lord concerning the sons and concerning the daughters that are born in this place, and concerning their mothers that bear them, and concerning their fathers that begot them in this land. They shall die of grievous deaths. They shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth, and they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine. And their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beast of the earth. For thus saith the Lord, Enter not into the house of mourning, neither go to lament nor bemoan them. For I have taken away my peace from this people, saith the Lord, even my loving kindness and mercies. Both the great and the small shall die in this land. They shall not be buried. Neither shall men lament for them, nor cut themselves, nor make themselves bald for them. These are pagan practices here, cutting themselves. Neither shall men tear themselves for them in mourning, to comfort them for the dead. Neither shall men give them the cup of consolation to drink for their father or for their mother. Thou shalt not also go into the house of feasting to sit with them to eat and to drink. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will cause to cease out of this place in your eyes, and in your days the voice of mirth, and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride. And it shall come to pass, when thou shalt show this people all these words, and they shall say unto thee, Wherefore hath the Lord pronounced all this great disaster or evil against us? What is our iniquity, and what is our sin that we have committed against the Lord our God? Then shalt thou say unto them, Because your fathers have forsaken me, saith the Lord, and have walked after other gods, and have served them, and have worshipped them, and have forsaken me, and kept not my law. And ye have done worse than your fathers. For behold, ye walk every one after the stubbornness or imagination of his evil heart, that they may not hearken unto me. Wherefore will I cast you out of this land into a land ye know not, neither ye nor your fathers. And there ye shall serve other gods day and night. There where, excuse me, where I will not show you favor. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, The Lord liveth, that broughteth up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, and from all the lands whither he had driven them. And I will bring them again into their land, that I gave unto their fathers. Behold, I will send for them, for many fishers. And fishers are fishers, fishermen. I will send for many fishermen, saith the Lord. And they shall fish them. And after will I send for, for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. For mine eyes are upon all their ways. They are not hid from my face, neither is their iniquity hid from my eyes. And first I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double. 
because they have defiled my land. They have filled mine inheritance with the carcasses of their detestable and abominable things. O Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come upon thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies or vanity and things wherein there is no profit. Shall a man make gods unto himself, and they are no gods? Therefore, behold, I will this once cause them to know. I will cause them to know mine hand and my might, and they shall know that my name is the Lord. But Manasseh was the worst king in Israel ever. But even he, after God put the hook in his jaw and dru drug him into captivity, he repented. And yesterday I recorded Manasseh's prayer of, of repentance. And the Lord forgave him. So no matter what you think you've done that is beyond, you know, um, forgiveness, <laughs> forget it. There's one sin that's totally unforgivable. And that's to blaspheme or curse the Holy Ghost. And as always... <laughs> I love you.